All right, welcome back to Jump One Half. I finally crossed the 100 level threshold, so we're definitely getting pretty much into the end game now, so I'm expecting things to just continue getting harder and harder here. Okay, so that was pretty straightforward. I feel like the gimmick is going to be these brown snake blocks here. Not sure. So far they've been pretty tame, but I'm sure that won't continue forever. Up and down moving platforms. Smack the chuck. Uh, it doesn't look like I can go into that pipe, so I'm not sure why it's there. And I'm not sure how I messed that up because that was really easy. <laughs> Alright, that's a bit easier. Jump up here and just murder the chuck. The fact that I can just stand here and bounce on his head makes that so much easier. This is definitely a case where that power-up is helping, and I miss that dragon coin, but I'll just leave it because it won't be very hard to come back. All I need to do is step on that. If I get the other four, all I need to do is step on it, and then I basically beat the level, so... Let's not step on that guy. I don't want to be dealing with Super Koopas here. And now let's bounce on him, I suppose. Get him out of the way. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad I managed to stand just on the edge of that pipe there. Um, well, I could tank a hit to get the moon, I suppose. But I feel like that's not the way I'm supposed to do it. And... Oh, hey, it stopped. Well, it doesn't help me much at this point. Um, so I guess maybe I'm supposed to go up here, or maybe that's not what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> I panicked, I didn't remember which button to press, I think it's A. No, it's L and R. Let's just tank the hit and grab the moon that way. Yay! Hooray <laughs> for cheating. Now I can grab myself that mushroom too, since I didn't waste time with the moon. Whoops. Yeah, I should not try and do that. <laughs> Alright, let's do a bit better job with this guy this time. There we go. Now the entire snake block is out of the way, and I can just go forward. Actually, doing the obstacle as intended sometimes helps. <laughs> okay, it's going down and not the other way. And I missed the triangle. <laughs> Dang it. As far as it looked... Like, visually, it looked like I stepped on the triangle, but they are a lot smaller than they appear. Eat that mushroom, so goodbye. Oh, I can't just jump straight out. There we go. So we gotta let that go, let the chuck fall, get back on it. Now we rush. Oh, that's fine. Makes it a lot easier to get through there. Oh, okay, I started the snake block, and now we just need to wait here. And I revived. Hooray! <laughs> Glad to actually get that for once. Complete waste of a power-up if I never actually remember to activate it in time. Ah, dang it. I didn't know where I was jumping before I jumped there. Well, I'm gonna have to go back to that platform now. Ah, dang it, the Pokey didn't despawn. I was really hoping for that to happen. <laughs> The hitboxes on these triangles are so janky. I fell pretty much ha through half of that that time. And getting through that without a hit is really difficult. And now I can't get that dragon coin, can I? Well, I can. I just need to do it this way. Ugh, I hit my head. 
Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna tank a hit there. So I wanted to keep that. from the floor. Alright, let's not go when the baseball is still on the screen. There we go. I was pretty much dying right before the end. I feel like on another day that level wouldn't have taken me nearly as long, but uh, I was not playing well there, and I just kept missing those triangles by a pixel. Oh, it sends me that way? Wasn't expecting that. Well... May as well go back and get that first dragon coin. All I need to do is touch it and then start select, so it shouldn't be too bad. Especially since the first half of this level was much easier than the second half. Point dead. Alright, so where was it again? I can't even remember. Oh, nice to get my power back. Well, it actually doesn't matter at all. <laughs> Considering I... Can't be small in the overworld. Dire Dire Diet by Isocitration and Lazy. I remember Iso made... Oh, oh wow. One of Mario's recent weight loss regimens has left him fitting, feeling lighter than air. It seems a bit strange. Well, that seems like a... The late weight loss regimen did a really good job. I'm definitely impressed by that. I'll go up because it's easier than going down. Oh, it's one of those swingy ones. Alright, well, that's easy enough to get. As far as this level is concerned, it's basically just sitting there. Those chucks are a lot more constrained thanks to the Switch Palaces, so I'm pretty glad about that. Alright, that's fine. I'm assuming I'm going to need one of those blocks for something. Let's just kill this Chuck first. Or maybe it's just to make me go faster, I don't know. Uh, let's just scroll the screen a little bit so that this guy can't really shoot anything. Oh, darn. I didn't realize that I, I wouldn't be able to actually go through there. I was expecting to be able to just keep going and avoid the baseballs that way. I guess that's one of the perils of scrolling the screen. I feel like there's going to be something down there, because otherwise, why is that path so much harder? Yeah, there's the dragon coin. I can't even downswim next to these vines without grabbing them. Well, this has been going pretty well so far. Hopefully it continues to go well. Whoops, that was a little bit too high. Well, you can jump all you want, you're not going to get me that easily. I'm assuming I need to go down again, that's been kind of the theme of this level, is dragon coins are down. Or maybe I, that just lets me avoid the obstacle, I don't know. Okay, I guess I'm supposed to stay under it the entire time. Hmm, how am I supposed to do that though? I'm assuming I'm not supposed to go underneath. If I try that, I'll probably die. Oh, well, that doesn't work. Oh, no, that doesn't make sense either. Well, I can try going underneath, I suppose. No, it's definitely blocked off, at least on that side. I can try the other side too, but... Oh, I can probably use one of those blocks. Well, under going underneath helps me regardless, so... Yeah, because now I can slide under and not quite make it. Hopefully I have enough time with this block. Nope. It'll have to be a little bit better time than that. Ugh. Oh, 
Nope, that was good enough. There we go. Swim up at normal speed. Alright, I'm just gonna kill this guy with my cape. <laughs> I like how the pipe makes it look like it's being shot up out of the pipe, even though... Like, that's just normal getting shoved through a wall physics. Oh, it's just a mushroom. Considering you gave me capes in the other boxes, I'm almost kind of surprised. Alright, let's just do that, and then get out of here. I can outrun these things. Alright, so what do I need this block for? Is it just to go faster? Because, honestly, I don't care. I find it easier to just swim normally through the level. Is there anything in here? That seemed kind of suspicious. I don't know why it was there. Otherwise, let's just cape splat those rocks. I mean, I have the cape, so I may as well. Having the cape made a really huge difference in that level. That would have definitely been much harder without the cape. Oh, compared to the last level, this one was so much better. I don't even think it was that much easier. It was just... I wasn't messing it up all over the place and misreading every obstacle. Earthquake Havoc. Which I'll do after this level, which is pretty scary title because uh, we never want to see Boss Bask. Whoa! Oh, I thought I was the- I thought I was the dolphin, so I was like, oh no, I'm falling into the water! Um, so let's do that. Oh, that's pretty straightforward so far. And there's the boss bass. Can I kill him with fireballs in this game? Whoops, that doesn't work. No, it doesn't look like it. Well, let's see if I can float over a whole pile of stuff. I mean, didn't ban my cape, so... Whoops. And now I'm just going completely the opposite direction that I meant to. Doesn't even look like the boss bass is in my way yet. I'll switch to the fire flower for this one, I suppose. Boink. Okay, now I gotta wait for this guy. Just don't rush it, and we're good. Okay, he can get me there. So let's bounce off the dolphin and see if I can just, uh, float to victory. Thank you, friendly dolphin, again. Even if that guy landed on the 1FO, I could have just fried him, so it didn't really matter. There we go. I'm kind of glad I preserved that cape. Hopefully I can reach a midpoint before I lose it, or die. I mean, obviously I have to lose it. Whoa! Okay, that is weird. I'm definitely used to boss bass always being at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> but honestly, this might be just as okay. He usually seems to go over my head, so whoops. There goes my cape, that sucks. At least it's less important in this section, because I gotta stay low, not high. There we go. Thank goodness. Now I at least get some benefit of the cape, and he's on a lair. That, no, it's definitely the worst of all worlds. Whoops. Okay. Okay, he can't jump, which is good. I guess he can't jump when you're already flying. That doesn't make any sense. Whoa. He was off screen, so I couldn't even see which level he was on. But I guess he's always about where the sign is. That was close. Dragon coin number four. No, oh, dang it. I was probably like a frame off of ducking there. Oh cool, so I at least start with a fire flower, even if I don't get my cape back. Then under. 
get over here. Dang it, I wasted my charge shot there. Alright, I'll use this guy to go over your head. Boink. Stay here. Now go. Now you're over my head again. Whoa, I almost just jumped straight back into him. <laughs> I managed to outrun him there. That ended up being the right call, though it definitely felt kind of scary. Oh no. Yeah, this is definitely bad. The fact that he can suddenly be in line with me is definitely scary. Oh no. Somehow I got hit normally there instead of one hit KO'd. Whoops. Not sure why I did that. There's the last dragon coin. Okay, good. Yeah, well, I got the dragon coin, so... At least I can just jump past that obstacle next time. Certainly a lot scarier than he used to be on the days of Super Mario Bros. 3, where you just like fry him once and then he's gone for half the level because the level is so short. I don't even need to go down there now, so that takes me some effort. Whoops. Somehow that all worked out to get me my power up back. I was definitely not in control there. I get nothing from those, so I can just ignore them. Let's try to make progress. The temptation is to try and go really fast, so that you have to deal with as few cycles as possible. But I think waiting is, ob is honestly a pretty decent play, making sure that you uh, take every opportunity to dodge him. What's the trick here? Is he really gone? Do I have to scroll the screen to avoid dying to the boss fast? <laughs> Watch, I probably did the exact opposite and got myself killed by him. No, we're good. Well, that actually went pretty decent. Earthquake Havoc by Error Graphics and Lazy. During Earthquake's example when Thoms hit the ground, the blue blocks become passable, vice versa with the purple blocks. Alright. This is a very strange gimmick. This is definitely one of those gimmicks that's just like, well, we're doing this now for some reason. Wow, that didn't last quite as long as I was hoping for. I really should have just stood on the left block because that was safe and tested it that way. There's my other mushroom. Oh, that was great. <laughs> Super Mario World physics, guys. All right, that, that jump basically timed itself. Oh, I didn't die because I was only halfway into the blocks. That's good. Well, he releases the fish. Not much I can do about that. I just need to be prepared to dodge them. Okay, I can't just jump over him. I guess I'm supposed to use the other thwomp to make him fall in the water, and then mess the first thwomp up again. <laughs> just do a spin jump to get over him. Let's slide these guys. Whoa. Okay, I'm, I need to avoid going too high. There we go. Kind of puzzly, but not very dangerous. Oh, I guess I just... It says left. I guess I need to... Drop him, go back to the left. There we go. Now we just run forward, hopefully. Oh, I was supposed to jump out. so that I can jump in the pipe again. Yoink. 
Oh, man. He's just gonna keep that going, it looks like. Alright, so it looks like I'm supposed to go up and then land on the great platform. There. Ah, well, stupid hammer brother in the pipe for some reason. These swamps also look kind of creepy. Also, it let the potobos out, which I wasn't paying attention to because I was too busy talking. Do you just keep... Yeah, you guys don't jump out of the water. So this isn't too bad. Oh no, what's the trick here? I'm gonna jump quick. Okay, I gotta kill this guy with the shell. This level's gimmick definitely feels uncomfortable to me. Left dragon coins, right continue on the main path. Well, we're definitely going for the dragon coins. There's the disco. Okay, so is it a bunch of distinct puzzles here? Does Yoshi stop and count as an earthquake? Yes, it does. That's good to know. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with this knowledge. I'm assuming I'm not supposed to- oh, wait, I'm probably supposed to spit this out. Whoops. Dang it, give me my shell back. Well, now it's gone. Okay, so I need to time it so the vine goes up. Whoops. Somehow that happened. <laughs> oh, and I don't need to be right next to the wall. That makes things easier. And the ceiling helps me too. Great. Alright. That's, that's the first dragon coin. Well, third dragon coin, technically because I've already got two of them. And so I need to hit the thwomp and then keep the disco on the purple. That worked. Nice. Dragon coin two is pretty easy. Now let's see if I can just get the last one here. Okay, looks like it's still just another one of these puzzles, which is pretty good. Because it means that I pretty much have this dragon coin in the bag, as long as I don't do something stupid like glitch myself in the box and die, or get hit by the thwomp. Oh, that's a delay. Alright, I kinda need the delay in order to actually have a chance. So I gotta time it with this platform, I have no idea what the timing is. Alright, that worked. Except it didn't quite because I was just a little bit too slow. I need to be quicker on the draw. There. And now I can go back in this pipe. See you later, Hammer Brothers. I took the block with me just to kill you that time. Now I can continue with the level. All I need to do at this point is beat it, so that's good. So this is the trick, we want to land on the thwomp and then go. This guy will release a disco. See ya, I guess. Had a nothing to do with the gimmick, whoops. Ah, rats. My iframes didn't last quite long enough. Well, I guess you can go into the hole, Mr. Chuck. I guess I'll go back, just to make sure that I'm not messing this up, but actually this obstacle is just easy. Whoops. I can just get out of here before that guy is in my space at all, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, same deal with that one. Just go fast. Alright, this time I don't have much of a choice. Gotta actually dodge the obstacles. You guys don't matter. Also... Okay, so this is basically just time to block changing. Well, okay. I'm actually surprised I made it through there first try. 
That's the sort of obstacle I've been feeling a lot today. What? Ah, oh, I... I definitely did not read that one right. <laughs> Probably should have landed on the other blocks first, or duck jumped, that would have been fine. A handful of easy obstacles is nice because it eats up space in the level without actually uh, getting in my way at all. Shouldn't have been talking there. Yoshi here. I don't even see a Yoshi. I'm sorry. That was not well timed. If I'd have gone there, I would have died. <laughs> didn't. Well, didn't use the Sumo Brothers all level from what I saw, though. Maybe they were there at the end and that's what was making the earthquakes. I don't know. This is certainly a place to- whoa! That was unexpected. That was very unexpected. <laughs> Brick joke. It's a secret exit. I don't think I've got time for this. See you next time.